Uh, right, doing uh, circular roofs. I basically did it a really stupid way, uh, and it's probably not the best way. Um, effectively, I put a, a base down. Um, when you're using a line tool, you've got to have like construction points, so you've got to have somewhere to start it off from and somewhere to attach it to at the top or wherever you're attaching it to, walls or floors or whatever. Um, so now I need to go through my absolutely huge list of templates of which I have far far too many and they're all old so none of them have screenshots on them and it's so slow Circles, circles. <coughs> I mean, the one that I did on our other build is actually like really quite big, and I'm not going to do that big. Um, let's see if this one will work. I don't think it's wide enough. Okay, so. Um, start with your, your base point. Having a circle helps if you're doing a round roof. Um, and then work out where your middle bit is. Which, unhelpfully on this, is not central. hard actually explaining techniques that you've kind of just done because most of the time it's just fluke. I'm not gonna lie, it's mostly fluke. Or happy accidents, we like happy accidents. And when you have a happy accident, template it. Because you'll never get it again. <laughs> Right, so the, the central pillar, you need to work out how tall you actually want it. Ugh. And you can take that out afterwards, so. Uh, and then with your, oh, so lovely line tool. Let's get something that looks like looks like something we can use. Uh, the other one I did was actually three voxels deep in um, the actual circle so it was a little bit easier to place but we'll, we'll do it with a... they seem to have taken out the two by two which is a bit odd but... Um, so effectively uh, because unlike in Minecraft you can actually copy and paste sections and rotate them around and um, you only have to do like one quarter and then flip it and circle it. <coughs> I'm not watching chat right now, sorry, but hi. <laughs> um, so first point straight up to your central point. It's not going to work as well because I've only got a 2x2 two two at the top. Don't be afraid of the line tool, it's nice really. <laughs> See the the thing with the line tool is um, that you're always going to get one end that's going to look perfect like down here uh, and then at the top it's going to look like shit. So you just have to decide which end you want to look better and which end you're going to like fiddle with and make better later. Um, so I started out and did 
middle two points because they're the easiest ones. And then this is where the fun bit gets. Um, it's quite difficult to explain. Uh, I'm doing like the central point in this quarter at the moment, um, but I'm actually looking at this outside point of the um, the square. So I'm going to place that down, but on the top section. I am going to hold down the shift key and place it separately with the tweak tool. And I'm going to move it so that this front line here goes to the, the kind of the, the point at the top, if you can see what that, that kind of shows. Um, the more you skew the points, um, the more it's going to look like crap. So it's best to have it as flat as possible or um, the, the same diagonals. Um, so yeah, it looks a little bit shitty at the moment, but we're going to fix that. So from this point we're going to go try and overlap. Overlapping helps a little bit. Um, you should be able to do it so you don't have to tweak the bottom sections, but you will need to tweak the top sections. Uh, again, just to get them to line up. Oh, so funky! Uh, it's, it's practice, is all it comes down to with the line tool. Uh, so, oh yeah, I've been out of it. Ah. So yes, quite shitty. Let's do this on the side. <coughs> so on this side, because I've I've kind of flipped over onto the other side of the main pillar, um, I'm gonna redo this central point and line it up to the other side <coughs> and I can see what the hell I'm doing uh, yes you can use the tweak tool um, at both ends of the line tool which is brilliant because it means you can properly set it up without it going completely to hell uh, so yeah this this is the front line that you're looking at um, if you're doing especially with square ones as well So if I was trying to get a, another line in, in this, I'm, I'm pointing at my screen, obviously you can't see that because it's stupid. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to get another line to, to go into this section here and of course it's not it's not going to line up properly at all so I'm going to tweak it and make sure that it's on the right point. And then OK that and then jump back up to the top. It doesn't really that look that much better, but there is extra voxel data in there, so when you come to smooth it, it'll look a little bit better. Let's finish this side off quick. There you go, so that's uh, like one quarter done. So all I'm going to do now is hopefully copy this entire section. When you want to flip stuff, um, if you don't know already, uh, you need to make sure that your um, your diagonals are in, in the direction that you want to flip it. So if I wanted to flip it like forward, um, I just press V now so and, and do that, that side over there. But if I wanted to do this side here, I'd have to change the direction and reflip it. 
So obviously I've already flipped it twice now, so it's not gonna work. <coughs> so yeah, you just have to make sure that you your di direction um, arrows are in the right place and then tweak this and reline it up Um, so yeah, it looks really rather rough at the moment, um, but it's kind of looking fairly pointy, roundy. Um, so the, your next job is to uh, select it all, and then scream wildly as the smooth tool destroys everything. We keep saying this, but we want our old smooth tool back. Any developers watching this, please. Old smooth tool. This new one's so aggressive. So that's literally one click and it's already looking about a hundred percent better. There you go, round roof. In about five, ten minutes. Um it it just depends on how um, au fait you are with using the line tool. Um, there's uh, another way you can do it if you want it absolutely like perfectly perfectly round. Um, <coughs> I personally quite like it being a little bit more rustic especially if you're using the um, the thatch and stuff it just fits it better it's a little bit more in the styling of, of the entire game. Um, but you could literally take uh, your um, super smooth circles and um, just grade them up so you, you go from your largest point all the way up to the top and then smooth that because then that will make effectively the same thing and then you just need to paint it whatever you want. Um, hopefully that has solved the mystery um, which isn't really a huge mystery um, and you can this will size up whatever it just takes longer to put the um, the line tool all the way around it. Well, just one quarter. Um, so I'm going to cut that there and hopefully I can save that and stick it on YouTube. Um, thank you for watching. <laughs>